Hello and welcome back to my Total War Warhammer 2 Let's Play. We are picking up where we left off with the Bloody Ants. And we were about to destroy Sogrim Grudgebearer once and for all. We recruited a load of regiments of renown and now we're going to try and fight the final the, the final battle. Fight our last battle against him. Shouldn't be too difficult. He has three miners, one dwarf warrior, two Oquarlas. There's two Ogun guns, those are dangerous. There's the Thunderer is somewhat dangerous and he is dangerous. <coughs> but other than that, I think we can beat him. And we have the spinning loons. <laughs> this is his last province, so once Thogrim Grudgebearer dies, that's it for Karaza Karak. And I think the entire... Well, there's still some parts of Karaz Angkor left, but the entirety of the Karaz Angkor that matters. Those will be gone and they won't be able to unite ever again. As long as I don't let Karaz Karak return. The lads are ready! The lads are ready! I really don't like playing as the Greenskins, since so I've I found out what the wrong as I've been playing this Let's Play. I really don't like them. <laughs> Their units are just not they're just not something I can use that well. They're too mainly focus of a faction for me. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop the campaign. I mean, it just means that I'm going to probably just go for a short campaign victory and end it after that. Because I really don't want to play a campaign I don't like all that much. Come on, destroy those stupid pit organ guns. They're very dangerous. We ain't carpals! I mean, I find their voice lines funny, but other than that, I don't really like playing as them. Okay, we have loons. Come on, come on, use your loons, use your loons, use your loons. Now run. Spinning loons. Okay, those all have spinning loons. These guys also have spinning loons. Well, yeah, the spinning loons were very useful. Uh, where on earth? Oh, yeah, I forgot about my cavalry. Okay, yeah, run away. The rusty arrows, I need you guys. These are the ones with armor sundering, and the other ones are the loons. I doubt that if I charge into this, my spiders will win. Even though we're playing on normal battle difficulty... Okay, yeah, first of all, because we're charging uphill, and second of all, because they're just such crap units. But at least they're fast. Drink to Bruin, run away! Let's use some magic here. Here, a bad moon should help. That was a nice spinning moons. And that bad moon didn't do anything. Killed four enemies and didn't do much else. Let's charge forward. Yeah, we're about to win. This fight wasn't all that difficult. Well, the bounce of power was just overvaluing the uh, organ guns. But I'd much prefer playing as High Elves, Empire, your Bretonia, your Dark Elves. Well, then, I, uh, what other factions do I like more? I think it's easier to say what factions I don't, I don't like in this game. I don't like the uh, Vampire Counts, Uns, Norska or Chaos. At all. Or the Greenskins. I like the Foot of Gork spell, but other than that, there's just not much I like on the Greenskin roster. <laughs> I've tried playing as Norska, I don't like it. And I've tried playing as Chaos, I don't like it. And there, I don't know why, though. I just don't like melee focused factions. I don't like the lizard and all that much as well. well. I mean, their monsters are fine. Their monsters are fun, and it's pretty fun to use their uh, Stegodon spam. But they don't have good range. They don't have that good, good ranged units. And so you rely, so you rely a lot on melee. And it's just not something I like to use in this game. Next 
We're still going to the last dwarf standing. Yes, let's triple speed it. Is he about to give up? <laughs> he is really damn persistent. Ah, no, he gave up. Goodbye, Thorgrim. And that's the Karazankor dealt with. Now we need to deal with the Empire. Sospug, what a weird name. He has some really crooked teeth. That's a lot of money. We will lose an Occupy, because why not? Alright, oh, Chaos is here. Yeah, okay, this army isn't, pre isn't all that dangerous. I mean, since we have to fight him in melee, it kind of is. I mean, I know we're on normal battle difficulty, but still, those units are pretty scary. Okay, I want Doom Divers. Where did I leave? Uh... Oh, okay, here's where it's like. Okay, if they're running away, that means we can probably win in an auto resolve. But I don't think we should do an auto resolve. Yeah, I don't trust it. <laughs> Okay, magic resistance, magic resistance, uh, these guys don't do magic damage. These guys? <laughs> they're gold chevron, they've probably never even seen a fight and they're all gold chevron. This is probably the army he recruited right at the start. Except the, except these two units here, these are probably quite new recruits. Okay, nothing we can do here. And when it comes to thinking, so let's just charge in like idiots. I mean, charging in like idiots is what the Greenskins usually do with their tactics. It's, it's very rare for them to have a, a war boss that actually understands it's the concept of battle, of a battle strategy. And when they do, it's really dangerous. That's because having a bunch of basically unbreakable lunatics that just li that live to fight. I'd actually you do t actually do f actually um, utilizing tactics. Pretty dangerous. Because these guys just live to fight. And they want to destroy everything they see because they think it's fun. But they don't have a greater goal of destruction. Oh wow, this guy actually tanked a uh, rock to the face and survived. Impressive. Yeah, they really are big Iron Arda. Yeah, I thought that no matter... I used to think no matter what happened to you in this game, no matter how much um, defense you have as an infantry unit, and if you get hit with a rock in the face, you still die. Guess I was wrong. <coughs> how much physical resistance do they even have? 50%. Must have, Those must be glancing blows, then. They must not be hitting us completely. Whereas they should go over there so you can provide them with physical defense. She should reduce her melee attack. Okay, I don't think we need to use a uh, foot of cork, so let's just use an er we go. Mm, first, don't want this guys to move. And now let them be destroyed by a bunch of rocks. Uh, on those guys, maybe. Okay, yeah, shoot their archers. Activate the wall. Not sure if it actually boosts our damage or not. It doesn't matter. If it's broken, it's broken. They should fix it soon. Because it's been broken for a month now, it's actually going to become unacceptable soon. I mean, they've made a beta, they could just fix it, but it's, an, it's not a big deal. 
But um, if it is actually broken and all the weapon damage which isn't actually get being improved, that means that Prince Imric is even stronger than I thought he was. And I really think it's really, really strong, so... If you can... If you, get, if you can get even stronger than he is, that would be very impressive. Because he, because as far as I know, he can actually beat Grimgor in a fight. I didn't know they were dressed in green. Oh no, it's not. It's not green. It's a yellow. I might actually play as dwarves soon. And I like the dwarves more than I like the green skins. Yeah, is that victory? Yeah, it is. Come on, just accept that you've lost. Since all the games, uh, since all the games workshop, uh, not games workshop, since all the CA games for Total, or at least all the Total War games seem to be on the uh, on sale this this month, I'm actually going to buy the Vampire Coast DLC soon, and so oh, there might be a let's play of that soon. And I prefer the Vampire Coast to the Vampire Counts, mostly because of how annoying it is to fight the Vampire Coast, mostly because of all their. Uh, all their cannons and and gunpowder weapons. Okay, so suppose we can auto-resolve this. Okay, yeah, that was the best we could offer. That's a lot of zombies. That's a lot of money, but I'd rather eat them. The vampire counts aren't worth anything. Brain burst the head, but want to get the arcane conduit. What does tunnel boss do? Leadership during subterranean siege battles. Oh, subterranean siege battles. So when you're attacking dwarves and skaven. Mm, yeah, that's useless. <laughs> I read that as Fusro Da for a second. Fury of the Prophet. Yeah, head, but uh, a brain burst. Huh? I can conduit. We get to renowned and feared. Need to get our king conduit as well. Let me guess. We still can't recruit any new. Uh... Yeah, we can't recruit Bl Blackhawk big bosses. Knowledgeable. Good. You will stay here because you are knowledgeable. Weird to hear of an orc that's knowledgeable, but sure. Er, he's probably knowledgeable in the ways of, of punching people in the face. He's real good. I still don't have the money for the for the building. Great. Also, I know what Pickbarter's uh, legendary building is now. It's just imp it just gives money and reduces upkeep for things. Not necessarily. F I think it's for goblin units. It's because it's a Noblar built city. Ooh, don't even try it. I'm pretty sure they'll declare one soon. Oh no, they actually like us. They actually like us. Though the Greenskins usually. It's weird for them. Sometimes they team up with the Chaos Warriors, sometimes they don't. <laughs> sometimes they think that fighting them will be fun, and other times they just follow them around and then just uh, pick up whatever's left after after the after the Chaos Warriors have destroyed it. <laughs> Depends on what they f they feel like like is better for them. Sometimes they feel like, oh yeah, those guys are, are big and strong, and we's gonna fight them. Other times it's like, these guys are big and strong, and we're gonna follow them. I mean, then pick up whatever's left. <laughs> oh, hi, Queek. Right, that's why I, that's why I wanted to bring Wurzak and the other armies back. 
Welcome news. Okay, Setra. Defensive Alliance it is. You spent your entire life fighting off greenskins, but sure. Ally with them now. Why not? <laughs> okay, there go the uh, Chaos Warriors. That's Gosnik's army. I should... I should really disband those guys there than the Black Orcs. Nah, I'm just... Nah, that would be a bad idea. Let's bang the Black Orcs now in that army. I'll just change it back out for... Uh, I'll change him back out for uh, whomever it was I had in this army before. Sneaky Skulkers. Nasty Skulkers, I'll just get some more Nasty Skulkers in there. They can flank pretty well. And I'll get rid of them once I get back to recruiting some Black Orcs with Azak. That was the guy who was in his army before. Uh, how much to build the Black Fort or whatever it's called? Well, that's the big fort. This is the Dork's Rock. I has my mystic powers. Can we destroy this guy? Do you oh, that's a very bad Isaac. army. Seen the okay, let's hope he tries to escape that way and then we can just catch him and destroy this Migdal Vondelbrak. Let's bring Skarsnik back down there. You need me. Yeah, we need you down there, Skarsnik. Like okay, yeah, we need you down there. Is it better to, fo to force march or run? Or underway? Doesn't matter if you attrition. Actually, try and hide in here. Is this place going to rebel? No. I don't want it to rebel just yet. This place is going to change its name to Red Eye Mountain soon. Okay, what can we research? Oglock the Orable. Well, I know a guy, he's pretty orable. Lads, lads, lads! I don't use seven, I don't use cavalry units for those guys. I could improve the goblins. Sure, that'll help Skarsnik out. I don't know what we was thinking, boss. The gobo, this is definitely expendable. They make the best fodder. Yeah, I can auto-resolve this. I'm pretty sure Queek will attack then if I do that. Okay, there go my trolls. Yeah, they're definitely gonna take over some of my of my regions over there. I can't believe I'm allying with the Tomb Kings. I know they're tr I know they're supposed to be neutral, but I don't think they like the green skins. Oh damn it! They have warp bomb. And poison and yeah, greenskins are not good for fighting Skaven, especially not with warp bomb. Uh, there's no difference if I charge in there with ladders or if I char charge in there with towers, because it won't change a thing. And they're just gonna blow up and destroy us. I mean, black orcs will obliterate it. These uh, cl these are storm vermin. But still, they don't stand a chance against them. If they, ex I mean, they don't stand a chance against us, and they don't, and we don't stand a chance against, against elite Skaven armies, especially with lots of weapons teams. Or you know, if they just start exploding, because every explosion can take down on like three or so battalions of the Black Orcs, and there's nothing we can do about that. We can keep these guys here. To try and kill the uh, menace belows. It's still broken, so don't even bother doing the. Uh, whatever it's called. Gambling. Have Grimgore run up there. And triple speed it. Do we have Ur we Go? We have Fist of Gork, Foot of Gork, Gaze of Mork, and Brain Burster. 
Yeah, okay, yeah, she has to go break down the door. Look at what their artillery is doing to our units. Yeah, and they have magic. Have they killed anything yet? A bit. But they're not all that good. Try and hit something. Okay, maybe our gobbles should go up there and try and shoot some. No, it's best if they, sh no, it's best if they stay here and protect our artillery. Our black orcs have arrived almost at the walls. If they start exploding. Yeah, I mean, look, they're I mean, they're definitely going to win, but not but unlike Sword Masters of Ho, if they take a while to win, and then they have very low melee defense so they get beaten up pretty easily. Oh my god, that was a strong spell there. I think I heard someone explode somewhere. I think they just exploded. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they, ex they definitely tried to explode these guys with the uh, warp bomb. Which is good. Where on earth is... Okay, Grimgore is trying to punch through the door. Okay, yeah, let's use a foot of cork here. Oh, there's a lot of them down there. Should have used it over there. Yeah, whatever. The power of the law. There's nothing we can do here other than just charge in mindlessly and hope we win. I mean, our artillery is doing a decent job killing Skaven. And again, Skaven are a dime a dozen, so. Get off the walls and kill them. Okay, wherever there's the greatest concentration of them, I'll just use the footwork. We need to kill that stupid wizard. That's the only spell the AI knows how to use correctly. Well, it's not the only spell the AI knows how to use correctly, but it's the one it uses the most. Oh, fuck! They just blew up half my army. Well, that's not. Well, that's two warp bombs down. One to go. After that, they'll send. After that, they send no chance of winning. This is Grimgore's law. The boys could never outdo Grimgore's lust for for carnage, though they, though whenever he calls for a war, they always try. Yeah, and that's what gets the immortals killed a lot. But they try and follow him into battle and just can't keep up and get themselves killed. Yeah, they call themselves the immortals and they keep dying. Funny, don't you think? Okay, that's a huge blob there. Let's smash the the rat blob. I don't think you're supposed to deal with rats by stomping on them. You're supposed to use like poison and yeah, I think you're supposed to use poison. But stomping on them is pretty effective too. If if it but it does mean you have to buy new boots afterwards. Come on, charge down. Uh, well, that did nothing. That's three. Th that's three for three. Go over there. Have those warp block jazzels done anything? Yeah. Uh, are they shooting us from there? Whoa. Those. Oh no, wait. Those are lost shots. Those are stray bullets. Okay. Come on, break the door already. Okay, so Grimgore can get in. It takes forever to win. Are these Black Oaks still climbing? Yeah, they're climbing. They climb very, very slowly, moving their gorilla-like bodies these over these crudely constructed ladders that I wouldn't climb even if people paid me to. I wouldn't climb a ladder like this even if someone paid me. Yeah, okay, yeah, time for a win. Oh, we have to stop those goddamn war block, uh, not war block Jezels, rattling guns. Don't tell me we're gonna lose this. There's nothing we can do here. Besides, I mean, Grimgor can't get in. And yeah, we're. 
Okay, maybe if I send these orcs over there, they can get to those guys. It would have made no difference if I had towers, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's triple speed it from now on. Okay, get the goblins to, s to climb up the walls as well. Because I need to use the... Uh... Okay, they wiped out one of my Black Hawk battalions. I need to use the uh, spinning loons. Okay, yeah, finally we can go in. That took forever. Now Grimoire can, fi now Grimoire can finally join the fight. Yeah, this ain't proper fighting. We're losing Grimgor if you haven't noticed yet. There's just so many of them. Those got them rattling guns. Yeah, she should not be fighting halberds. Yeah, and Grimgor's in the middle of the fight. Get those goblins over there. Gotta use these loons, spinning loons. Yeah, it's not going well. They keep using their spells. There's nothing I can do. Get to those goddamn rattling guns and stop them. Once they once they're out of rattling guns. They shouldn't be able to win, and they shouldn't be able to win the melee. Come on, get to them. Vomit on them. Okay, these guys have not been wiped out yet, so I better keep them safe. Get to the goddamn weapons. Don't stand still. Get to the weapon steams. Skaven. Oh yeah, I like, I like playing a Skaven. They are very fun to use. Because all their weapon steams are hilarious. Damn it, stop getting surrounded by goddamn... ...em... ...em storm women with halberds and get to the fight. You need to puke on them, otherwise we can't win. Is Grimgor's counter is large? No, Grimgor's counter is infantry. Weird, Henri Le Massif is counted as large. Get to them! You guys are you guys are horrible black orcs. You guys don't want to get into the fight. And they're gonna get wiped out. And I don't think I have the access to Crimson Killers just yet. It's starting to turn towards in our favor, but still. Okay, maybe if I use another. If I use another one of these abilities. This they just stand still. They stop. They stop moving for some reason. They're not giving up, but they just don't want to get to the enemy. They just okay. Yeah, they're dead. They gave up. They keep giving up halfway through. They don't get to the enemy. And our army is in complete and utter shambles. Nah. They can. Okay, and now their artillery gives up. Now oh, they've already destroyed half my army. And I can't recruit more black orcs. And for these, I need to recruit crappier units. Look at the kills on the weapon team. 152, 150, 99. Our goblins did pretty well, all things considered. Because Skaven are just great when with this. They just, they trap you in a blob and then they don't let go. Okay, Grimgor has killed 162 of them. That's that's good for him. Need to 
kill those goddamn and Warblock Jezails. Or not Warblock Jezails, those are the rattling guns. I thought that the Grim was supposed to be good at fighting Skaven. Well, he seems to be pretty good at fighting Skaven. Okay, there's nothing we can do here. Triple speed it. Okay, I don't want these guys to get wiped out. Four would be five percent, so yeah, they cannot be wiped out. Kill them! Everyone always stops halfway through and don't go anywhere. They just they decide to go. They decide to go somewhere, but then they decide like, nah, uh, not worth it. Did you know? And they did. And then they don't engage in melee with the enemy. Okay, these guys have been wiped out. Black Orcs are just not good. I mean, even with a Swordmaster of Hoeth army, I, I, mean, I probably wouldn't have done. I would have probably not done much better. better. But with the High Elf army, I usually have far more archers, and then let the archers do most of the work, because they don't need to get into melee. Did they just kill did that last attack kill one of my orcs? No, it killed one of my goblins. Spinning loons were really good at the gate. I was trying to protect my artillery. Okay, this is what Grimware is supposed to be good at. Let's hope we can do that right. No, he can't even do that right. He's being completely surrounded. Okay, yeah. Now he should be able to win this fight. This is what Grimware is good at. Killing other lords. That guy killed 86 of my guys. Oh, shut up, Skaven. You're never brave. If bravery is a concept you guys have no idea of, Skaven. Whatever. Yeah, I consider that a Pyrrhic victory too. Since half my army was wiped out. Yeah, the, the main power was their... Well, their constant exploding. These guys here, they only got two kills. If they had used them better, could have gotten like 400 kills. The rattling guns used all their ammo, which we shouldn't allow, and they killed 162 of my of my black hawks. They're really powerful. Well, their wizard was powerful. Yeah, and half my black hawks are gone, including da immortals. Oh yeah, those guys were da immortals. We take it. Well, we're stuck replenishing. Four turns of being stuck here replenishing. Might as well get another orc out of boy. It's good that we have that much global recruitment, but I still don't like the orcs. I don't know what to do with this. Yes, I'm, I I expect it to fall. We want more. We want more uh, savage orcs. More growth. More money. If I keep wasting my money like this, I'm never going to be able to afford for the uh, legendary building. But I need to spend it on everything. A lot of scrap. Good. We're gonna need it to to give anti infantry against my. Uh, to my black orcs once they're back. I could have probably done the battle if I had done the battle with the high elves. I could have done it with an elite army of the high elves. I could have done it, it casualty free. Pretty sure of that. Okay, those guys have 11 units in there. Yeah, they're probably not gonna win. Is he going to attack something? No, he's going back into Karak Eight Peaks. Clan Eshin, probably going to declare war on us eventually, or be confederated. We need Karak 8 Peaks anyway, so yeah, best we go there soon. Once we're done wiping out the... 
got the uh, dwarves of Karakun. Okay, they ran away somewhere. I don't know where. Your reach grows we get more money. Good. Further, great lord, your endless victories are changing the very fates themselves. The world falls before your incredible power. Got a gate peeks in. No one's going there. Didn't I have? Didn't I give someone orders to go there? You didn't I give you any orders to go over there? Go there. And you, you also had the order to go to go there. Move. Whoever gets there first, first will get to not die. Will be rewarded by not being killed. Ooh, that's good. I want some of those and that. Finally, we can have the legendary building. Six turns from now, we'll have the ability to recruit. Uh, we'll have more uh, obedience. That's good. And then the ability to recruit the black, um, not black walks, the the rogue idols. Okay, yeah. Now we should quickly destroy this. What do we need to research now? We improved our goblins. Could improve them even more. Let's research lads, lads, lads. Each of these er, each of these er boys is one of the lads. That's now, oh boss, making us proud. So more orcs levels. Level for all infantry units recruited. Nothing we can do this turn. Oh wait, no, I forgot to move Skarsnik. Eh, he can replenish for one more turn, and damn it. I really don't like Skaven. I like playing as Skaven, I just don't like fighting Skaven. You'll see, our army's gonna be completely doomed once they run in with uh, full stacks of Storm Vermin and Poison Wind Mortars. This is just nothing we can do against Poison Wind Mortars. Poison Wind Mortars are just such a nightmare to deal with if you're playing as a... Well, is it, well, actually, it's the greenskins. It's easier. It'd be much harder if you were playing as the dwarves. Because against dwarves, those are a complete and utter nightmare. The giant blade. Cool. I can use that on uh, maybe this. Uh, yeah, I can give her that. That. This. She can already heal on her own. Hmm. So, so, so the immortals can't break. More magic. We're gonna need to clean all this uh, goddamn corruption. And somehow. You should be able to heal. Scroll of power. Backstabber. Don't like some git? It then send in a backstabber there like nasty skulkers, but even meaner. Two more turns and we get our units back. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> From the front. Considering he is complete, he is complete and utter git. It Grimgold's leadership, personal well, bravery, and combat prowess are more than impressive. But he is a complete utter git. Okay, yeah. His leadership prowess basically goes to yelling. I think basically amounts to yelling really loudly and charging into things and surviving. I think that's all his leadership skills are. He's not. He's not one of the ones that uses tactics, as far as I know. We take it. Yeah, uh, yeah. We could max out his magic, but let's improve his uh, the gobos. No, the boys. Does it affect? Yeah, savage. Okay, for him it's all orc infantry. Yeah, okay, it does affect orcs, savage orcs. 
melee is all we have, it's melee that we focus on. How long until uh, what's his face comes back? Azak? Oh, he'll be back next turn. Good. Lots of plans. Lots of, plans. Lots of schemes. We need to go deal with the Skaven. Get, get to the place. Yeah, who leveled up? Yeah, teach him right. Okay, yeah, that'll keep him in the fight for longer. We need money to get this. Yeah, I'd like to have this guy here. Or maybe Oglock the Orable. Actually, what will give us the untainted one? It's Oglock the Orable. Because we really need untainted now that we're going through escape territory. I also don't know how bad it would be for Grimgord's army to be ambushed. It's mostly melee based, so it's not too bad, but... If they have Warp Bomb, they can really do a number on us. And there's nothing we can do against Warp Bomb. Uh, how, how does he confederate Marienburg? That, that can't happen. That, that's physically impossible now. They're not part of the Empire. They have no. F they don't swear fealty to them. And they shouldn't be able to. They seceded from the Empire ages ago. I call shenanigans. Eh, destroy Nagash's are if you want. And look, see if I care. No. But this is part of my plan. Kicking you out and replacing you with Azog. Yeah, there he is. I can recruit these guys at level 14 now. Good. Cavalry. Grayson Cavalry can be fa fast and brutal. We. Mm. Brutal, yes. Fast, no. Fast, definitely no. Well, some of it. It can be fast, but not brutal, or brutal, but not fast. Such a thing is impossible. Oh, it actually gives us a chance of winning. Yeah, probably not capable of winning this. I mean, if we managed to kill these guys, we would be able to, but everything else would be a bit annoying. If they attack us, because then I'll defend. If I had built up walls, we would have been able to defend them off, pretty sure. Okay, yeah. Where's Zag? We need to destroy the last of these wolves. Definitely not gonna fight that. And we can't win that. I don't need to call another war. Wa slow us down. The Broken Dust mob. Ah, the Crimson Killers. Nasty magic ready. I can give those to Grimgore. Eh, he doesn't need them. It's not like they'll survive anyway. We'll just get wiped out almost immediately. Karak Ungor is going to rebel. Who cares? I really need to get to the. Uh, in no, wait, I already have the reduced. Who's the. No, increased public order. I need to get to reducing uh, corruption. And building the things that give public order. Oh, okay, he went to bring. In, he went and got more reinforcements. And rattling guns as well. Uh, I can't really deal with rattling guns. Oh, and they have a plague priest there to make, give us a plague. Good, good. That's not going to be good for us. Uh, 
And let's see if I can still do the quest battle for Azak this turn. Uh, this episode. Pretty sure I can only do it next turn. Are they still besieging us? They're still sieging us. Yeah, we can get there next turn. Let's use this. Jump over there. Would've been better if they had caught us. Death from below. Actually, one, I actually want to get caught in the underway. It's a, bit, it's a good way to pick them off one by one. The boys. This boss is one of the boys. He's in... He's egging the lads on... Onto greater, greater feats. It's in hitting, to and to hit bigger stuff with their choppers. Okay, that's they've been taking a long time to attack us. Big mistake because we can now take their territory away. I could call a wa if I really, really wanted to, but they're still just a, the third strongest faction. It would give us growth and replenishment, but what we have is just better. So there's no real reason to do it. I mean, we could obviously get some new units from the WA, but... I just don't think I have to do another WA. Okay, some of these are fanatics, some of them aren't. In fact, these are the only two fanatics. More shamans. Actually, can we can we recruit any more river troll hags? No. Ah, there's a knowledgeable one, and I can't recruit her. Two turns for more shamans, and the the rogue idols. Nothing left to do this turn, I guess. Uh, yeah, actually, we should maybe recruit a small army here to defeat these guys if they spawn. Can we recruit an army? Mm, we could. It would be expensive, but we could. Yeah, let's recruit the... Yeah, sure, why not? Anyone. Anyone will do. Some orc boys, and then whatever else we can find. Yeah, bring us over here, because we're gonna need him in Skarsnik's army once we start building Skarsnik's new army. Which will be mostly, come, which will be mostly night, gobl night goblins and uh, nasty skull cut. Which will mostly be nas night goblins and uh, arachnorock spiders. And squick hoppers. So, a goblin army. Oh, Malakif is here. And Malus. Okay, yes, Caven slaves in that army, so it's not too powerful. They actually bring down the balance of power, as far as I know. They reduce your balance of power. Okay, Clan Scryer is now at peace with uh, Estalia. That's good. Nope. Peace is difficult to come by, but now it's time for a tr to talk and beer to flow. Yeah, okay, we're under siege. Okay, yeah, we can't stop all those. Uh, that'll be tough to stop. Stupid, stupid Skaven. Stupid Skaven. Okay, he runs away. Doesn't matter, he can't uh, take over any of these locations. Let's try and block army. So he can't escape. 
Those guys seem to be a bit broken. Oh, you failed. Okay. Why am I not surprised that he failed? I can give Azak the Crimson Killers. Okay, now I gotta do the quest. Okay, that's a lot of units that archers are good against. Yeah, let's give Azak the Crimson Killers and do the battle before we end the episode. So, the Crimson Pillars. Okay, we're gonna be fighting large units. And we can't apply anymore. More, uh, Foot of Gork. Prepared for this attack. And we can actually auto resolve this. Sure, why not then? Nobody gets wiped out. We loot and occupy. We build a wall, because they didn't. More growth. We can uh, disband these guys now and replace them with Doom Divers. How long does it take to recruit Doom Divers? Three turns. Hmm, kind of annoying. Okay, those guys will attack soon. We need more army. Nasty Skulkers. Or would it be better to have a bunch of archers? Night Goblin Fanatics is probably better. They can do loads of damage. Let's give Azak a potion of toughness. He doesn't need anything like that. No. He's gonna get his. I think he's gonna get his weapons now. Okay, let's do the quest battle. Oh no, it's gonna be his enchanted item. So I shouldn't have bothered trying to give him one. Me into attrition, vampiric attrition, penalties due to local province, okay, good. Enables most advanced lore of death magic, okay, yeah. Cool, let's do the quest battle. Yeah, it says it's so easy. Let's see what his quest uh, speech is. To this lost city, but before we can rummage, we're gonna clear out all them undead things. Give them a little kicking. Once we've killed everything, no one's to go looting until I say so. This is my plan, so I get the top hits. I'm in charge now, and I need a shiny boss hat. Anyone who disobeys will get a boot up their backside. Remember. This is a cursed place. The Shannons don't like it. So, no messing with stuff you don't understand. If you summon something from the void, you'll have to deal with it yourself. I don't think the Greensons understand much of anything, to be honest, so they shouldn't. So, what you're saying is don't touch anything that you don't understand. So, when you're saying don't touch anything you don't understand, you mean don't touch anything at all. Under any circumstances, because you don't understand any of it. I mean, the only reason Azak understands it is because he's, well, he sort of understands it because he has uh, Nagash's his, um, mind and he has a part of Nagash's intelligence in him, and so he can sort of understand these things that he shouldn't understand. Okay. I know we're going to be flanked, I think. Or a bunch of undead things are gonna show. Oh yeah, right. A bunch of undead are gonna show up. But first, we have to deal with these uh, gob, with the uh, chaos guys. 
let's look at the Crimson Killers. They sure are Crimson, and I'm pretty sure they're good at killing. So I guess their name makes sense. Yeah, we're being flanked. And Dark Rock Lava starts trying to shoot the uh, flying units. Not as good of an idea, but sure, why not? And there's nothing else to shoot. Bah, guys. Move faster! And now there comes a bunch of more enemy units. That should slow them down a bit. Okay, if they're gonna charge straight into my units, that's fine. Let's hope the goblins can win that fight. I have no confidence in my goblins. Whatsoever. Yep, yeah, they're losing. They're losing really, really bad. Oh, that was a gaze and a gash. I don't think we may be ready for this fight. Okay, shoot them. Die for us. Okay, that's up for a charge. Come back. Okay, I don't have Gorf will fix it. I don't have anything that would be really be useful in this situation. Nothing new. Yeah, I don't have any spells that would be useful in this situation here. Where are the rest of my squeak hoppers? Yeah, uh, charging to them. Oops! Press out of the game. Sorry for that. I clicked out of the game for a second. Okay, Azak, you should probably win that fight. It's just, uh, just a vamp. Oh no, it's not a vampire. It's a, it's a chaos general. You should still win. Get our, get our squid couples out of there. Those squid couples should uh, flank them. Oh, you guys, uh, that's a really bad idea considering that everything here is ours. Come back! Okay, maybe maybe a fist of cork. Just lead them out of the battlefield. Let's get him to leave the battlefield. That guy should disintegrate soon. Oh shit, there comes a bunch of uh, ethereal units. Is he winning? No, 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 he's not winning. No, 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 no. He's the opposite of winning, he's losing. He's doing the opposite of winning, he's very much losing. Fanatics, eh, there's nothing to do here. Okay, we need a we need a uh, Gork's fist over there. We can't use a Gork's fist. Oh, no, we can, we can. That should allow him to win. Because it doesn't do with magic damage, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Look how quickly they're destroying them now that they have magic damage. Okay, yeah, we need to stomp on something here. Those are just zombies, you don't need to worry about that. Are those Graveguard? No, those are just zombies. Yeah, nothing here needs a good stomping. No. Okay, an aspect of the Dread Knight. These are fanatics, these are fanatics. Nothing we can nothing we can do here really. 
And they still lost. I mean, I, I mean, they did good. I sent him into a fight that I really, really shouldn't. Okay. Uh, just crush everyone. Our replenishment is high enough. I think this army is in no danger. And, come on, even Goblin Archer should be able to beat them. Beat goddamn zombies. Okay, yeah, those are... That's a lot of goblin. That's a lot of zombies. We should be able to beat this. Oh yeah, that's getting a lot of kills. And it does, that's victory. It doesn't give us magic damage? Hmm. Thought it did. Oh no wait, that's uh, Warzag, I think. No wait, no, Warzag's physical resistance. I don't think there's a wad that gives us magic attack. Pyrrhic victory? Come on, my army's in great shape. I lost two goblin. Yeah, sure, fine. I lost. Come on, my front line is intact. My archers are pretty much, much fine. I mean, these guys are going to be replaced, and these guys are expendable. Oh, and only one, of them, only two of them got wiped out. They're not worth all that much. Let's just replenish. Yeah. Uh, with plenty of shooters, as in the mob, in his mob, all that's left and for Azak is to launch his raid on the tomb city. Blah blah blah. I don't care. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time. Farewell.